we were ready to play at home in front of our home crowd, on our home court, hit some shots. Um, and I think we really stepped up, especially in that area, just knocking down threes. I think we were 10 for 18 today, and that's what we want to see more often than not out of our players. You know, we worked on practice, just passing perfect passes to where we can get our shooters ready to catch and fire away. So I think that perfect passing into in rhythm shots really helped our percentage today. Now coming back home in a three-way tie at six and four with two other schools, uh, did you kind of press the issue that you have to take both of these games being a last home game for the regular season? Yeah, we talked about every game we play is the most important game of the season. You know, so tonight it was this game. Now tomorrow, it, that's the most important game of the season right now. And we have to take care of business. So um, that was a good win for us. But I told him you can celebrate it for about 10 seconds, and we've got to refocus. We've we've seen this story before. You know, a, we we a handled win, but you know, we turn around and play tomorrow, and it's not going to be easy. Nothing's easy at this point on because they're playing for implications too down the road. So I think it's really important for us to regroup, um, look at game film, see how we can improve, and refocus for tomorrow. Now the last stat game, so to speak, that you had the next day, you did come out flat. So. I'm sure that will be a point of emphasis if it hasn't been already. Yeah, it's just one of those things where when you're playing back to back, you have to turn around with the same amount of energy and effort you used in, in the previous day. And for us, I think that's big. It was good that we were able to kind of share minutes today. Um, hopefully, we can come out with that same energy. Yeah, you had the luxury of playing a lot of combinations tonight, Coach, and that's obviously going to help you come tournament time. Yeah, I think it's good, too, that you, you play some of those kids that see shots fall. So when they do get in there um, as subs off the bench, then they're ready to um, contribute and have confidence in themselves being on the floor. So those were good minutes for us. Now, your your press has been your mainstay to keep pressure on on the teams all season long. You didn't go to it until they're about midway through the third quarter. Why was the reason for that? Yeah, I mean, we were, we were kind of in it the whole game and then kind of tail off there in the fourth quarter um, just for, again, leg purposes. But uh, I think our, our pressure defense um, made them turn it over early and even in the half court, you know, when we're going on those double teams. So it's just something I think for us, whether we're in the half or in the full, we got to get after it, get down, guard, take pride in man-to-man -man defense. And um, they're doing a pretty good job of that. Now in the first half, you had a, you had a fairly big lead in the rebounds, but in the second half, uh, they actually went ahead in rebounds, and then by the end of the game, you kind of retook the, you know, retook the lead. Uh, was there kind of a lull in defense? A lot of times when you have a big lead, that, that's a tendency to happen. Yeah, they got a couple of offensive rebounds there in a row. Um, we need to kind of do one and done. We play defense so well for the duration of the shot clock, and then we've got to find a body and block out. So that's something we need to get a little better at. But you know, we know we're not going to have as many rebounding opportunities if we turn them over, and I think we almost doubled them up in, in turnovers. So um, those are kind of lost rebound opportunities. But it's fine with me if we end up with the ball somehow, whether that's a steal or a turnover or a rebound. Now they had a lot, I mean, a lot of missed layups. Do you just do you attribute that just to a bad shooting night on their part, or um, was it something like some intimidation where they felt the shadow behind them as far as your defense? Yeah, I would hope that our defense kind of speeds them up a little bit, but I think we know that they missed some bunnies that that is not typical. Um, they're going to hit those shots tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I really believe that. So we've got to keep that in the back of their mind too. They probably missed some shots that they would have normally hit. So um, that's something too that'll make it a different game tomorrow. Now your guard from Finland had a pretty good game off the bench. Tell us about that a little bit. I mean, her feet were set and she was ready to shoot. Um, she always is going to play hard. I know that when Vin gets in the game that she's going to go hard, um, run the floor, you know, be ready to catch and shoot. And she had her feet set and it looked good coming out of her hands. So it was nice to see her get on a roll. So with most things going right tonight for the most part, uh, what, what do you focus on for tomorrow other than not letting down? Um, you know, it's kind of a game of chess, like what adjustments are they going to make? Um, and we saw some things out there that we probably need to adjust based on how they're playing. So that's something for us. We're just going to dive into game film as coaches. Um, in this short turnaround, we usually walk through the whole shoot around of the adjustments and then come back out and hopefully you see those carry over. Well, a great win. Like you said, enjoy it for about 10 minutes. We'll see you tomorrow, Coach. <laughs> Thank you.